Let's understand what happened when the PN junction is not connected to any external bias, or at a zero applied bias. When PN junction is not connected to any external bias, it is considered in thermal equilibrium condition, where no voltage applied across junction, Fermi, energy level is constant throughout the entire system. At this condition, few holes, known as the majority carriers, in the p-type material with enough energy to overcome the potential barrier, that exist in the space charge region, will move across the junction against this barrier potential. Similarly, holes that is generated in the n-type material, known as the minority carriers, find this situation favorable, and move across the junction in the opposite direction. This transfer of electrons and holes back and forth across the p-n junction is known as diffusion. The potential barrier that is now exists dejects the diffusion of any more majority carriers across the junction. A balance of carriers is now established where the majority carriers are equal and both moving in opposite directions. When this occurs, the junction is said to be in a state of equilibrium. This potential barrier is denoted by, built-in potential, V, V I. On a side note, the minority carriers are constantly generated due to thermal energy so this state of equilibrium can be broken by raising the temperature of the PN junction.